How's it going YouTube? This is Alpha Prime back again with another Transformers Earth Wars video. And in this video we're going to uh, discuss Drift and uh, Grimlock and we're going to compare the two and see which bot is best. Now a lot of people have been asking me to do a Drift video and uh, review on Drift and I have been hesitant to do so because uh, I knew that there were some uh, upgrades and enhancements coming to Drift and uh, the developers came through and they had enhanced all warrior class bots recently and so now all warrior class bots deal damage to walls so uh, if you've been following my videos before you'll notice that I have done a few videos on warrior class bots and I did miss a few of them in my last video and the one that I missed that is uh, shown the most promise actually is Drift and uh, I just wanted to do a little comparison for you guys. We're gonna do a five-star comparison, and we're also gonna do a four-star comparison. So stay tuned for both of those. But just to start off, uh, if you check out my four-star drift here, uh, you'll notice that uh, uh, here's his stats here. But actually, let's, let's go back here. Let's compare the two uh, stats, the Grimlocks and Drift stats. So you can see from the screenshot here that both Grimlock and Drift have very similar uh, stats uh, at, the, at similar levels there. Grimlock does have a little edge in terms of uh, health and damage per second, but Drift heals himself every time he does an attack. So when he gets into uh, a foray there, he's actually able to survive a little bit longer than Grimlock because Grimlock will just rush in there and if he doesn't have a, um, a hot rod there to protect Grimlock, He's going to die very, very quick. So there is definitely a difference there. Now, Grimlock, since the beginning of the game, has been able to uh, destroy walls and wreck everything in, in, in his path. But since the update, Drift can do the same. So let's go ahead and let's try a battle here with uh, these four-star bots in Zone 13. Okay, so we just loaded up base for you guys. And uh, this one here is HQ... 14 with the HQ level 14 walls with 12,000 health. So uh, Drift is level again 55 9 with a level 15 wall buster equipped or level 55 uh, 8, sorry. And Grimlock is level 54 10. So very, very similar in terms of their uh, levels and abilities. Let's give this a go. So just going to uh, use Drift there to go to the middle. And look at all the, look all the damage he does. 15,000 damage he deals to uh, targets in his path there. and uh, to, Or to the wall pieces. So that's really, really nice. And let's get him out of damage's way. And then uh, let's see here. Grimlock is... I want Grimlock to do that laser here. So let's... Let's get Drift to go down here, and let's go Grimlock to this uh, laser here. So, boom, take that laser out, and then let's go back down to this uh, launcher, motor here. Okay, so uh, you can see there that uh, Grimlock deals less damage to wall pieces than Drift at the same, at the basically the same level. So, if you ask me my opinion. Drift is actually stronger now with the wall buster, which is really, really funny. I think uh, no one would expect that, but uh, Space Emperor does a great job of uh, enhancing warrior class bots to make them more relevant in the game. Like, I stopped using Drift. I'll be very, very honest with you guys. But now that I've seen Drift in action here against, uh, against uh, walls and against strong level bases, uh, I'm very impressed. And... Uh, I think I would definitely want to explore using Drift some more. We're going to go and try a five-star attack now with five-star bots at a higher level. Okay, so I'm just loading up uh, this, these five-star bots here. Uh, here's five-star Drift, level 61 with 10, with uh, with a gold wall buster at level, maxed out, level 42%, level 15, sorry, 42%. And he's got 20,000 health. And we'll take a look at uh, Grimlock here. 61, 10 with a level 20 wall buster. So he's got the G metal wall buster on him. A little bit more health, a little bit more damage. But I still think Drift's going to deal more damage to wall pieces. Here's a shot of Grimlock side by side with Drift there. 
So, um, yeah, if you don't have Grimlock, Drift is a really, really nice uh, alternative. And uh, from that set, the second set there, Drift is one of the one of the more common bots to pop from that set. And uh, you shouldn't be discouraged to get Drift now. I was really, I wasn't too happy when I first got Drift. Uh, I'll be honest with you, but now I'm pretty excited to level up my Drift and uh, get him into uh, war action there. Since I made these videos, a lot of our teammates like Pexa Ryan have been uh, practicing with Drift and uh, he showed uh, us uh, some high level Drift play. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same here. Uh, we're going to, uh, let's do an attack in uh, zone 14. Uh, let's try and find some uh, nice level walls. Uh, at, at this level, at level 61, I don't think they can break max walls quite yet. I think they need to be a little bit stronger. But uh, against uh, these kind of walls here, these are HQ 16 walls, level 16 with 20,000 health. I think Drift should be able to take these walls out. So let's let's uh, let's give this a go and uh, we'll try it here. Let's uh, let's go right up to this mortar here, and we'll take Grimlock right over here. I missed. Okay, let's do that again. So look at that, right there, 22,000 damage to the walls. That was pretty, really nice, I would say. Uh, that's just a level 61 drift there. So he's, he can almost take on a max wall with 20, at 24,000 uh, health. I guess he just needs to get uh, a little bit higher. Let's do that again here. And then I wanted to try out Sludge. Just to show you Sludge, uh, an example of using Sludge against wall pieces here. Now, Sludge is not good against uh, wall pieces that are not, uh, that are just by themselves. You can see he can't quite take them out. He would be able to destroy those wall pieces normally if they were in a honeycomb because uh, his damage gets magnified. So not so useful against single wall pieces, but still pretty good. He almost took out um, a, a HQ-16 wall piece, but he is a level 61 uh, 10 with a G Metal Wall Buster core. So there you go, guys. Fast forward that a little bit there. And uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this video. I, using high level bots. I know we don't all have level 61 bots yet, but keep working at it. There's a lot of good events these days with, with, with Super XP and Triple XP. These are things we never had before. And also the double XP core. So uh, redeem those uh, Shadix coins for those double XPs. They're really, really nice and helpful. And uh, I mean, in Zone 12, I'm getting 80,000 uh, experience now on triple XP event like tonight. So I'm getting 160,000 health or, or XP, sorry, per battle if I use that XP boost core on like say blaster or on a uh, a wind blade in zone 12 or a uh, alita one in zone 12 so really really useful uh enhancements to the game to make it a lot easier to level bots here's an example of of course a max base at hq uh 17 now on the test server you can see that uh, i put uh, armor on my mortars because i wanted to show off how great uh, the, how high the life is now. So it's really hard to find a bot that can deal 5,800 damage. Probably Skylinks, uh, Skydive, or maybe, um, or maybe, uh, who else could do that? A Prowl, Five Star Prowl. So very few bots can deal that much damage to uh, G Metal uh, more armor on mortars there. So that's what I, my advice is to put uh, armor on everything <laughs> if you can. And then I, I like the guided missiles though, of course, for for missile launchers because uh, they just all those missiles focus on one target there and deal a lot of damage anyhow i guess that's it for this video thanks for watching and uh if you liked it please subscribe and share i would really appreciate it and uh i don't have any more links to give out this weekend but uh, starting in april i'll have a whole new batch of of uh, premium crystals to give away so stay tuned and uh, hit that bell to make sure you get notified every time I, I make a new video as we'll do trivia every time so you can win some premium crystals. There'll be five winners each video. Thanks for watching. This is Alpha Prime. Till next time, peace out.